the Cats. A slight breeze, tuck. Goes for the torpedo punt kick up towards full forward. Dunstall has marked the ball in the middle of a pack of four players as though there was no one around him. Goes on with it now, backing himself onto the left foot. Kicks it towards full forward. Look, Dunstall fly. Morrissey collects the crumbs. Snap shot. He likes it. Does the goal on play? Yes, he does. Pass off to Whitman. One out. Dunstall and Darcy. Dunstall, goal number eight. Round onto the right foot. Goal number eight. Hawthorne Bernie, they didn't win one, did they, Hawthorne? No, they're looking very ordinary, but Geelong were much better either. Bruce, so uh, it just shows. Inquisies, if you like, leading up to a game. Really yeah, nothing out of the ordinary, I don't think. You don't pack your bag a certain way or eat spaghetti before the game? Or... I always have pasta on a Friday night, but I don't think that's uh, too much out of the ordinary. Typical Dunstall mark here as he out positions his player and... Uh... I, on the ball, make sure he yeah. comes up rightly. Plays under pressure all the time. He didn't kick so well yesterday. Wet conditions, good mark by Russell Morris. Look at the strength here by Dunstall. Or, uh, as he did last week, sort of wasted opportunities that could have resulted in goals where Hawthorne don't. Body in was Paul Deere. He goes again, gets the hand pass out to Dunstall, snapping at his fourth. That's a great effort from there. Dunstall gets the goal. Makes the mark, a bit of space now. Dunstall leads. Yo, what a mark! And you couldn't have better hands the man who has led the goal kickers the last two years. And Jason Dunstall is in hospital tonight with a, suspe a suspected depressed fracture of the skull after this incident in the first quarter. And through Anderson it comes to Dippy Domenico. His kick to centre half forward. Dunstall on the lead, dives and marks low down. His eye doesn't look all that good there, Jason Dunstall. As he takes the mark and slides to the ground, we'll see Earl Spalding continues on. And there it is there, that left knee just hitting him above the... Uh, Turn to serious competition. It's always hard to watch, and uh, you know it's harder when uh, when the side's getting beaten. So uh, thankfully, I don't have to watch anymore. He certainly didn't. Back today in a key to Hawthorne's prospects of making the five. Although his kicking for goal was patchy, he led and marked with confidence. While Dunstall wasn't best on ground, he was a useful contributor, and his presence on the field was a mark of his courage and dedication. End. If Dunstall was looking for a confidence boost, he didn't have to wait long. Kick by Tuck towards Dunstall. Oh, he's got it. That's an unbelievable mark, isn't it? <laughs> Across to Pritchard. He's left footer in front for Dunstall. This could nearly wrap it up. Dunstall right. Morrissey down towards full forward. Oh, strong mark, Dunstall. What a great mark. Cool like standing up. All eyes, sorry, Dennis. We're on uh, Fairley and Burton coming from the side. Fantastic mark. I mean, it's the hallmark of Dunstall's game, really, to take marks under pressure like this. The kick, a fair one, not a good Did that in close quarters. One out as Dunstall. Oh, one-hander! It's stolen. Morrissey. Full forward, Dunstall. Don't give him... Takes it away for Hawthorne. Up towards full forward, Dunstall. Kicks to the goal front, Dunstall, and it comes to the game. Hey, he gives it to Platten, who pushes up towards Dunstall. Oh, yes! A great mark by Dunstall, also another change at Carlton May Jr. So they're trying to get back into this game by positional moves. We see there, they can all at sea on that occasion. Terrific mark. Side goes over the top to Whitman, hard against the boundary line, pulls it back for Dunstall. His 15 metres out from goal, Jason Dunstall pulls it back for a goal. I mean, this goal by Dunstall is absolutely freakish. Pele, Maradona, they'd all be proud of that. That was brutal. The best player in the competition here. Have a look at him. Jason Dunstall out in front. Again, Dunstall placing himself in the correct position into the vision of his teammate and again snapping truly. This is the Big Dipper and Jason Dunstall. The atmosphere in the dressing rooms before the bout was electric.
There were headbutts, flying mares, brain busters, sleeper holds, body slams and backbreakers. In the end, Brains beat Braun, with Schwab and Bacchanara holding on to their championship. Playing on, John's has done it again. We're champions two years in a row. Let's see if they can do it next year. All I can say is thank goodness the boys at Hawthorne can play football. Stephen Quartermain, Eyewitness News.